second setting one was true. Okay. Setting one was true. All right, so this allows you to store quite a lot of Boolean values. You will just keep going here with doubling it all the time. So 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, etc. Keep going. And uh, if you don't trust me, just do the math yourself. You will see that this logic works. Uh, it's a pretty common known method for storing Boolean values like this. Usually you would use a bit, but you can use uh, integers as well. And yeah, it allows you to store a lot of Boolean values in a single integer value, which is the whole point here. Since you have a limit on how many integers you can load or how many values you can load out of a bank, you will need to store more values into a single value if you want to store a lot of stuff. So this is one way of doing it. A second way of doing it uh, if you want to have more detail, is to use strings and store your data in strings. I'm not going to go as much into detail on this because I think we're running out of time. But this editor has some pretty nifty string functions. Uh, if we make a new string here in uh, local variables, my string. set variable you have a substring for instance substring is probably your most useful one so say you store a string in the bank and you say that every 10 characters represents one value or every every one character represents one value or every two characters whatever how much you need or you can have a variable amount. You just load out your values one by one. So you know that the first, from letter one to letter five is your first value stored. So you will then do the bank, uh, load string value, your key, I'm just gonna reuse, I'm just gonna type, type it out, my string section, the section and bank, Player bank. Uh, this is just an example, so it doesn't matter. So you know that well, you one to five is one value you want. Then maybe letter six to ten is the next value, and so on. So basically, what you do is you build up a string by using a set variable. Set variable here. When you want to put it into the bank. You set your string, and then you use this uh, combine strings multiple. Then you can combine uh, val zero one. That's five letter. Oops, my bad. Combine strings multiple. I have double click here. Val zero one. That's the first five, then we have another one, while zero two is the next five, and so on. You can just double click and keep adding. That's the third value, and then you have five letters per value. For instance, this is one way of doing it. And then when you load it out, you use substring to grab the first five letters, then you grab the next five letters, and so on. So yeah, these are two methods you can do to store a lot of data in a single key. Uh, there are many other methods to do this, but these are very basic ones. I'm just going to leave these triggers in, disabling them, so that if you download my map that I created today, you can uh, see it. And yeah, that summarized the bank tutorial. Um, to recap the important parts, banks always no, you can never use variables or expressions here. You have to type it out manually and just copy it up. Always store your banks in a variable for later reference. And um, 
You can maximum load approximately 80 values total between all banks in multiplayer games. So you often have to do something clever, like doing something like this to store Boolean values or doing the strings. If you download this map, you can look over the load save stuff. It will all be here. Just check the um, video description here on YouTube. And every single video I posted, I have the map I create in the description so that you can download it. All right, that's all for this time. If you have any more questions about banks or anything else, anything you want me to cover in my tutorials, just send me a comment on YouTube, post a comment in my videos, send me a private message on any big StarCraft site. I'm on all of them. My nickname is usually Bider. Like so. Feel free to send me comments. I'm on SC2 Mapster, Hive Workshop, what have you. All right, that's it for this time. I hope this was helpful for you.